Hello friends, Siddhish Tiwari here from Ithikal Hacking Tuition Center Jaipur and today we are going to discuss some important topic and that topic is what is the difference between Ubuntu Linux and Kali Linux. So most of the people asking me, please explain the difference between Ubuntu Linux and Kali Linux. So first of all, I will make them clear that both are Linux and both Linux distribution, they designed for different purpose, okay, but they purpose is different okay now i am going to show you a detailed comparison between these two operating system the you can see in the left hand side that is kali linux operating system and this uh, right hand side you can see this is ubuntu operating system okay so right hand side you see the ubuntu and the red and the left hand side you see the kali linux okay now i will show you the difference between these two so first let me type the password so that I can log in to this Linux machine. And so this you can see this is the Ubuntu Linux and the left hand side. Let's log into the left hand side Kali Linux machine. Mm. Okay. So you can see I log into the both machine Ubuntu machine. This is Ubuntu Linux and this is Kali Linux. Both are Linux distribution but both are used for different purpose okay their purpose are different okay so they look different you can see let me maximize it so it will look something this like this this is kali linux okay so you can see the a lot of tools here and if you see the terminals here okay and all those things you can clearly see in this kali linux machine okay now this is kali linux and this is ubuntu so what is the basic difference the basic difference is they are designed for different purpose now first of all if you want uh, to know about the ubuntu the purpose of ubuntu is like a general purpose operating system you know like designed for everyday uses like including personal computing development even server development okay office work you can do whatever web designing you can configure telnet ssh server apache server nginx server mysql database whatever you want you can try programming on it so ubuntu is for general purpose now the target audience for ubuntu is it aimed to a wide range of users okay from beginners to advanced users even developers can use this okay it means ubuntu linux is used by a wide range of people even mm -hmm. students faculties teacher developers you no know, everyone can use it kali linux is designed for a specific purpose okay this is a distribution and this is used for mainly for penetration testing, ethical hacking, security research, cyber like cyber security and you know, cyber forensic. This so the target audience are highly security professionals, penetration testers, and advanced users who need tools for security testing and analyzing and for learning ethical hacking and penetration testing, included bug bounty. Okay. Now let's come to the Ubuntu again. Okay. let's move from the Kali to the Ubuntu now in Ubuntu there are some pre-installed software basic software like office browser you know, everyday use softwares are pre-installed later on you have to install your own okay because this uh, Ubuntu is mainly focused on product productivity general computing and development let's come to the Kali Linux Kali Linux come with pre-installed hundreds of security tools for penetration testing and ethical hacking bug bounty no you can see that this is Kali Linux machine and you can see here there are a lot of tools here you can see in information gathering you can see a lot of tools vulnerability analysis you can see a lot of tools and you can see a lot of tools in web application database assessment password attack reverse engineering exploit tools sniffing tools you know so there are a lot of pre-installed tools so these tools are already installed inside this operating system while you don't find this operating this uh, tools inside this Ubuntu Linux machine but you can manually install uh, these tools in one by one inside ubuntu linux if you want okay so i have made videos on uh, videos on how to install meta exploit or you know, some important softwares on Kali linux software on ubuntu i have already uploaded video on that uh, i will give a link of one video on that i button you can watch that okay now Kali linux focus on tools network analysis vulnerability scanning and exploitation tools remember that okay now if you come to user interface ubuntu mostly uses the genome desktop environment by default okay so there are different flavors of ubuntu like ubuntu kubuntu lubuntu x ubuntu etc okay 
they are our desktop environment they are designed to be user friendly and visual appealing means you can you can see it visually looks so good okay so nice and very suitable for beginners but if you are working on kali linux that usage by default xfce desktop environment by default which is lightweight and customizable okay you can customize it but you can see a lot of function in that let's come to security and privacy if you come to discuss with the security and privacy in ubuntu that's mostly focus on secure and stable environment okay now in ubuntu there is a come lts long term support operating system which provides a stable support for 5 years okay but in kali linux you will not find like that okay in kali linux is every every year there are four versions release of kali linux and you have to they are not the stable version because they always update tools and environment okay in kali linux they are designed with security testing in mind open use in environment where ethical hacking and penetration testing are required these tools are uh, like uh, anonymous tools forensic tools vulnerability assessment tools okay if you come to update and release cycle you know that um, ubuntu releases a new operating system every 6 month okay like every 6 month you get so you can say that in one year you get to ubuntu operating system but ubuntu also release a lts version that is known as long term support version okay so that version now every 2 years every 2 years they release a lts version but the they supported which are supported for 5 years remember if you are using suppose ubuntu 24.02 lts version that is supported for 5 years okay lts version release once in a 2 years okay lts versions are stable and ideal for long term use remember that but in kali linux there is no such stable version there is no such lts version okay they are based on the rolling release model meaning it is continuously updated with the latest tool and feature because you are using ethical hacking and penetration testing tool so you need updated tools all the time that's why they need update it uh, four times a year so you get the four version every year of kali linux so user receives all the time security related tools and the you know, latest updates as soon as they are available on the internet okay by using apt update apt upgrade command now use if you oh, if you talking about uh, ease of use i will uh, i will discuss like uh, ubuntu is designed to be easy to install and use even for the beginners you know even beginners you just can easily use it that documentation and tutorials and community support are also available on the internet so you can google it and you can go to the ubuntu uh, documentation website and you can get so many lot of support open source community is so big but if you go to kali linux this is more complex although you will get the uh, a huge community who is supporting kali linux but it's not recommended for beginners unless they are specifically interested in security and testing so if you are just uh, interested in development and programming and all those this, this two operating system is not for you okay this operating system is only for ethical hackers penetration tester or guys who are interested in security concept no all these models now default user privilege by default ubuntu come with non root user which you can create root user you can enable root user inside ubuntu linux uh, the same with the kali linux kali linux comes with the root user also and uh, kali user also by default okay so you can create uh, like so kali linux and ubuntu both in this case both work as a same in both by default there are root user but you have to activate it okay so you just need to activate the user with a password that's all community support now ubuntu has large community support active on kali linux has also a strong support but specific only security related security focus okay so they are mostly focus on security professional so if you are a beginners it's not for you if you talking about performance ubuntu ubuntu is very optimized okay and kali linux is also lightweight optimized for running security tools only okay so i hope you understand what is the basic difference between ubuntu and kali linux and you have also seen that uh, how ubuntu is for home and kali linux for home how they look so if you are not needing if you are not ethical hacker penetration tester bug bounty engineer you are not interested in that then you can go for ubuntu in ubuntu you can do all your general task office work media consumption everything okay web development php python programming perl programming ruby programming everything c c++ java everything you can do in ubuntu if you are interested in ethical hacking penetration testing security cyber security no bug bounty then you should opt kali linux
so i hope you understand if you still have any doubt you can ask me through the comment section thank you thank you for watching